Hey everybody, it's Leon Saverson with Boatlift Boss, here to showcase our new 2022 Boatlift Boss units and our install kits. In the video, we're going to show you how to transform your wheel-driven winch into using one of our direct drive Boatlift Boss units. In the install kit, you will find the following items. One keyed drive stub, one angle bracket short, one angle bracket mid, one 5 16 24 by 1 inch hex head bolt, two 3 8 16 by inch and a quarter hex head bolts, four 3 8 inch washers, two 3 8 16 serrated flange lock nuts, two 3 8 inch split washers, five 16 inch fender washer, one 8 millimeter machine key. Additional components, one synthetic grease, one thread locker. Before we get started, we'll go over a few safety precautions. Prior to installation of your Boltlift Boss unit, please thoroughly review the instructions included in the install kit. Ensure you are using the correct install kit for your Boltlift winch box. For compatibility information, please see the install kit title screen at the beginning of the video. Prior to installation, ensure the existing winch box is solidly and safely secured to the Boltlift frame. Never connect the Boltlift Boss to a power source until the installation is complete. Never install a Boltlift Boss unit onto a compromised winch box. Inspect the structural integrity of the winch box, Boltlift and lift cable. If damaged or missing components are found, immediately cease operation and seek the guidance of your local Boltlift professional. Lower the Boltlift cradle into its lowest position until there is no tension on the cable. Secure the bolt with the rope so it doesn't float away. To remove the wheel from the bolt lift, remove the fastener from the center of the wheel. Turn the wheel counterclockwise until it unthreads from the winch box. Remove the 7 8 inch bronze washer from the winch input shaft and save for future use if the handle is required. Clean the winch box input shaft and apply thread locker directly to the shaft threads. Thread the keyway drive stub onto the winch box input shaft and hand tighten. Liberally apply grease to the shaft and the keyway drive stub. Then seat the key into the keyway slot. Remove the black rubber plug from the face of the boltlift boss unit. Align the keyway on the drive stub with the keyway entry slot on the bullet boss unit. Push the bullet boss unit fully into the drive stub. Place a 3 8 inch split washer onto the 5 16 inch bolt followed by the 5 16 inch fender washer. Insert the bolt into the open hole and thread it into the drive stub to secure the unit to the winch box. Tighten the bolt to 20 pounds torque. Do not over tighten. Reinstall the black rubber plug into its original hole. The install kit includes two angled brackets with different lengths, only one of which will be used. The bracket will reach from the lower right corner of the winch box and extend upward until it meets the teardrop bracket on the back of the Boltlift Boss unit. Determine which bracket best fits your application before moving forward. Install the chosen angled bracket to the lower right corner of the winch box as shown. Loosely secure the bracket with a 3 8 inch bolt two 3 8 inch washers, one on each side, and 3 8 inch lock nut.
Hinge the angled bracket to align with the teardrop mounting bracket on the back of the bolt of boss unit. Loosely secure the bracket with a 3 8 inch bolt, two 3 8 inch washers, one on each side, and a 3 8 inch lock nut. No. Should the angled bracket and teardrop bracket not align properly, or the configuration cause the bolt of boss unit to sit at an angle instead of vertically, the teardrop bracket may need to be repositioned. In these cases, it may be easiest to remove the bolt of boss unit from the drive stub first, as the hardware securing the teardrop bracket could be hard to reach. Once the bolt of boss unit is properly positioned, tighten all hardware. Inspect the structural integrity of the winch box, bow lift, and lift cable. If damaged or missing components are found, immediately cease operation and seek the guidance of your local bow lift professional. At this time, it is important to check that lifting the unit can only be done when the gearhead rotates in a clockwise direction. Attempting to lift in a counterclockwise direction may unscrew the unit from the winch box, causing serious personal injury or property damage. So there we have it. We've just successfully installed our new Bolift Boss unit. And from everybody here at Bolift Boss, we sincerely thank you for your business. We'll see you on the water.